Well, um, mm-hmm. hope you didn't get a rash. Be worth it. Because it came from you. <laughs> Thanks, Drake. That's what everyone says when they get a rash from me. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I am joined here today with my friend Michael Allen. Hey Jake, how you doing? Good, thank you so much for coming into the kitchen with me. Oh, thanks for having me. You are a really wonderful musician and honestly a really funny comedian too. You host a show, like a mm-hmm. live show, kind of like Mystery Science, called Shut Up During the Movie. Yes. When's your next one? So our next one is going to be the last Tuesday of this month, April of 2018. We are showing the Fred Savage classic, The Wizard. Uh, yeah. Check that out. You can find it on Facebook. It'll be amazing. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to bring you in today because I wanted to kind of come back to like where I first started baking and really getting serious with it. I think it's a good one to bring somebody in on. Mm-hmm. I'm making some bagels. Do you like bagels? You eat them a lot? I do eat a lot of bagels. And I'll tell you what, my friend, when I eat bagels, I won't settle for less. I want everything. Guess what? What? We're making everything bagels. Shut the front door. <laughs> so guys, these are super simple, super easy. Michael's gonna show us how easy they are. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, if so... even I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so let's get in the kitchen and let's get started. Let's do this. So one of the reasons why I started with bagels and mm-hmm. bread is because it doesn't require a whole lot of ingredients. Okay. This is our entire ingredient set. We're gonna start with four cups of just standard white flour. Okay. To that, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt and two teaspoons of sugar. Mm. And a whole packet of just the instant yeast that you can get at the store. Two cups of warm liquid. Water is our okay. uh, our liquid of choice Good. this time. <laughs> this We're gonna time. dump this in. <laughs> And now we're just gonna mix until we kind of get a shaggy dough going. How about this? How about? I'll mix this mess, yes. and okay. then I'll then I'll have you knead. Yes. I always start slow because I'll mm. usually slosh it around everywhere. Yeah. We're not here to make a mess, Jake. We're here to make bagels. You'd be surprised. Since we're gonna knead this for a while mm-hmm. on a floured board, mm-hmm. it's better to have a wetter dough now mm. than it is to have drier. How does the weather affect it? The humidity. Uh, Usually in the summer, you'll find that you use less okay. liquid just because there's more humidity in the air. Yeah. So now we've got dough. Have you ever kneaded anything before? I've kneaded lots of things, but I don't recall if I've it ever kneaded good. dough. <laughs> I always need dough. The best way that I always think of kneading dough uh-huh. is to just push away from you okay. and fold over. Okay. But yeah, just push away from you, fold, push. Cool. Fold, and you'll do this for about five, 10 minutes until it gets nice and silky. Hmm. And from there, We'll just allow this to rise and proof for about an hour to two Mm -hmm. or until the dough has doubled in size. Mm. It's so subjective, depending on how warm it is, five to 10 degrees difference. Any number of variables will be a huge difference in time. Hmm. So now, okay. Push uh-huh. like with the with think of the palm of your, right. your hand. Okay. Right. So then push and then kind of fold back over. Got it. There you go. And now oh, turn look at it. This. So what you're doing here is building up that gluten. So when you fold it, you're gently pulling that gluten and lengthening the mm-hmm. strains, which is gonna give us some strength in our dough. Okay. See, I could have gone my whole life and I never would have known. I know. The things you learn. I'm so glad you called me over. The theory of everything bagels. That's right, man. So this guy looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's nice and silky now. Can we eat it now? No. So we're gonna go ahead and let this proof in our bowl that we mixed with before. Just put this in here, cover it, and we're gonna let this rise for about an hour to two hours until it's doubled in size. All right, our dough's been proving for about an hour to two. When you poke it, it holds its indentations. Boop. Wow. Now the fun part comes where we actually get to like shape them oh, and make them actual yes. bagels. I'm just gonna cut these. Mm-hmm. And you get six to eight bagels out of this depending on how big you like your bagels. Uh, I like big bagels. Me too. There's your dough. Oh, yes. So All right. just take it in your hand. Uh-huh. I just put it down here and then kind of like half hold it like oh. a claw okay. and just roll it, push it a little bit on the table. Mm. Just roll it in this little circle because you're going to get it a little ball like that. Uh-huh. Perfect. To get the actual dough shape, what I do is just pinch my fingers together and then kind of wiggle it till I can actually get a little hole. And then put my mm. finger through. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And this is the fun part where I just little 
And since these are gonna prove again, we wanna make sure the hole's a little bit bigger than you think it should be. Okay. Put them on a tray. Uh -huh. These guys are gonna prove for about mm -hmm. uh, another 40 minutes until they're nice and puffy. We'll baptize them and make them actually bagels. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> it's not a bagel if it hasn't been boiled. That's what gives it a soul. <laughs> All right, so our bagels are nice and puffy, and they have, you can see, they have a little bit of a skin on them, which yeah. is fine. But now we need to make them bagels, and what makes them bagels is their little baptism in water. Okay. So I've got about four inches of water in here boiling, just at a low simmer. I've added some salt too, because I want to flavor the water, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go ahead, just pick one of these guys up. Okay. And I, sometimes, if the hole's closed up a little bit, I loosen it back up. Yeah. Drop one in, hmm. and then, Okay. Out. Thank you, sir. I'll drop that one in. We're gonna do this for two minutes in total, one minute on each side. Okay. Then when they come out, we'll actually brush them in an egg wash and mm. get them in this everything bagel seasoning. Ooh, what's in that everything bagel seasoning? I have this just the standard traditional one. Poppy seeds, sesame seeds, mm. minced garlic, dried onion that's been dehydrated. Yes. I really like a salty bagel, mm -hmm. so I do some coarse, coarse ground sea salt in there too. Oh yeah. So that you get a nice crunch to okay. that outside. Do you know why you boil bagels? I do not, please enlighten me. When you boil a bagel, it's uh -huh. what gives it that like chewy texture mm. is that the starches from the water actually start to gelatinize and that causes that like really chewy, shiny texture. Cool. This guy is like a triangle bagel. I'll try. She's pretty. The angle bagel. <laughs> While I put m the, um, some more in the water, mm -hmm. do you want to brush these with egg oh, wash? Gladly. Okay, so that'll help everything make it stick. Just make put this in here. There we go. Make happy little bagels. Mm -hmm. They already start to look like bagels. Aside from the egg wash, yeah. it's vegan. Ah, perfect. So for my friends who are vegan, who sometimes don't get to participate in everything, yeah. this is a really great one to share too, because you can make these vegan very, very easily. Toss that one in uh, there. I certainly do. Am I getting both sides or just one side? Just one side. Okay. Kind of squish them around a little yeah. bit. Don't press too hard. Ooh. There you go. Sorry, little bit. Look at that. Gorgeous. Lovely, right? Awesome. Work it. So we're going to finish up all of these. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna get them in an oven at 400 degrees, pretty mm -hmm. hot, for okay. about a half hour until they get nice golden brown deliciousness. Mm, yeah. So now that the house smells super good, <laughs> and they've cooled for a little bit, the last thing we need to do, which is the best, yes. the taste test. Oh, yeah. Let's do All it. All right. I'm gonna let you choose. Oh. We got different sizes, so. How, where do I even begin? Yes. Oh, the chosen one. Yes. All right, I'm gonna choose this guy. You want me to split yours for you? That's not a knife. Uh, yeah, go for it. Awesome. Thank you. Look at that, oh. yum. Listening. I'm gonna smear this with some cream cheese. Do Go it. right ahead, you're first, oh, guess first. Thanks, guy. Do a little, do a little smear, okay. No. Oh right, man, moment Start of truth. All right, hang on, hang on. Cheersy. Dink it. Let's sink it. Mm hmm Right? This bagel is everything. Mm. Everything bagels are seriously my favorite bagels because you get everything. everything. Yeah. Everything mm -hmm. on it. I could totally do this at home. I will do this at home. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining me, Michael. Oh, thank you. Please do not forget to check out Michael's uh, Michael's show mm -hmm. at The Heavy Anchor and on Facebook at Shut Up During the Movie. That's right. It's going to be a blast, I'm sure. It's a great time. Thank you, Michael. Dude, thank you so much. This yeah, is great. Yeah, of course. Uh, th and thank you, guys. We'll see you here next time. Mm -hmm. Another Jake Bakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, my God. Yo. My whole life has been leading up to this moment. You know what? Me too. <laughs> I'm a bagel sandwich person. Do it. Show me how it's done, mm. man. Wow. Got a little, got a little in your, you know, yeah, just more some of these. Yeah. That's my snack for later. There you go. <laughs> this guy, am I right? Mm.